Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a compound or also known as stacked bar chart uh, using R or specifically RStudio for a paired variable. Um, I'll be using the basic uh, packages as you can see uh, that come with RStudio, so that's these. And later I'll also be using uh, ggplot2 um, as an additional example to make it even look perhaps even nicer. I will need some data as an example, so I'm going to run this command to actually get some data in. And as you can see, I have two measurements, all scaled on 1 till 5, um, before and after. So before seeing a commercial and after seeing a commercial, for example. Um, the first thing we need is a so-called bar table, so um, or table for the bar chart, I just call that bar table. Um, and I want these to be in proportion. So uh, you can actually change it to uh, regular counts if you like, but so the before BE and show you that these are the proportions. Uh, so in the before, uh, there was 20% of the people who gave it a four. The same for the after, and as you can see in the after one, uh, only 13% gave it a four. Then the bar table is simply going to be combining these two so using R bind and then actually transpose it. So the bar table, uh, after I run that one, I can show you what it looks like. Bar table, uh, it nicely shows the before and the after. Now I might actually want to change these column headers to really before and after. So I use column names of the bar table and then use before and after. And now if I run the bar table, it nicely shows before after. And finally, the bar plot can actually be simply created by using bar plot and then off that bar table. Control enter, and as you can see in the plots area, uh, we have a nice uh, compound bar chart. However, um, you might want to add some colors to these. Perhaps you don't like gray. Uh, there are loads of different ways of setting colors. Uh, but you definitely also want probably a uh, labels so that you know which color represent which score. So in this case, I add the legends, and as you can see, a 1 was uh, very low and a 5 was very high. So it seems that in this case the after scores are somewhat lower because we have more people in the 3, 2, and 1 area than we had before. Now you can also use ggplot2. Um, there, uh, it's a little bit trickier to work with, uh, in my opinion, but once you get the hang of it, uh, it does give a lot nicer results. You need to convert the table then to a data frame uh, as a matrix, so I'll be doing using that this line. Then I actually need to add uh, an a additional column, which actually includes those ratings. Uh, then I need to reshape package. I already installed it, so I'm only going to load it in. That was this line. If you need to install it, you can use this one. And then I'm going to convert it to a long format uh, using the melt option. So my data too, I can show you what that looks now uh, at the moment. It simply has before, after, and the rating. And if I convert it to a long format um, using an ID variable as the ratings, I can actually and give the value name as proportions because I've been using proportions. Control enter and my data long now actually looks the same. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five repeated multiple times for each possible score. So uh, for the before and the afters. Now I can actually go and change the name of uh, my second column, which was uh, the variable at the moment. So let's call that commercial. Perhaps it was before or after seeing a commercial. Then finally, you need the ggplot2. Um, I already installed it myself, so I'm not going to run that again. And then I just need to load it in. Then the command is going to be ggplot plus geometric underscore bar AES. And for Y, I'm going to be using those proportions. For X, I'm going to be using commercial. The fill is based on the ratings, and the data is, of course, my data long. And then uh, stat is identity. Now, when I press Ctrl Enter, I nicely get in here a nicer looking, I think, uh, compound bar chart of the two uh, matched variables. So this is a quick tutorial on how to generate such a compound bar chart. There's loads more on creating plots in R using ggplot. This is a nice link for that. Um, you can also check out my own website at uh, peterstatistics.com. Uh, hope this video was helpful for you.